Well, hey, this is Josh Nelson with Plumber SEO. And on this video, I want to tell you about Shamrock Plumbing, a plumbing company out in um, Central Florida, actually in Orlando, and talk to you about how they were able to get 319 calls directly via the internet in the month of April, and really what they did and some of the strategies that went into making that happen. Well, Shamrock Plumbing is owned by Mark Norman. Uh, he's been in business for about four and a half years. He started his company. Um, you know, just like a lot of people, right? He was a one-man operation working out of a home office, uh, realized that he needed to get internet marketing in place if he was going to get his phone to ring and get himself busy. And fortunately, he was able to really get a lot of the right online marketing fundamentals in place in terms of getting his website set up right, ranking well for the most important plumbing-related keywords. And over the last two or three years, he's been able to grow to a seven-man operation working out of a 2,500 square foot facility in Orlando. And a lot of that had to do with getting ranked well in the organic non-paid listings in the search engines. So as a matter of fact, if we type Orlando Plumber, you'll see he's got strong position right there on page one. Orlando Plumbing, also very strong position, page one. Orlando Repiping, uh, very strong position in Orlando. Repiping is a very high transaction service. And really the strategy that went into getting these rankings was you know, first he had to get a strategy right with a focus on organic and Google map rankings over pay-per-click strategy. That was the first thing. The second was we had to build out the website for the search engines to rank organically. Not just for Orlando Plumber and Orlando Plumbing, but also for the other keywords people were typing in. Orlando Drain Cleaning, Orlando Emergency Plumber, Orlando Garbage Disposal Repair, Orlando Water Heater Installation and Repair, and have pages for each one of those services that was properly optimized so he could rank on page one for a variety of things. Had to make sure that the website was optimized for conversion, right? So it had personality, pictures of him, pictures of his team, uh, strong calls to action, showcasing a lot of positive reviews. All of that went into to the result there of 319 calls. Um, and optimized for the Google Map listings, right? Claiming the Google Map listing correctly, getting consistency of how his name, address, and phone number was listed across the web. Put a process in place to get his real customers that he served on a day-by-day -day basis so it was really easy for them to go ahead and write a review for him on the Google Map, on Angie's List. Had to get consistent with blogging, right? creating fresh, relevant content, updated on his website on a consistent basis, strategy for building links from other websites across the web back to shamrockplumbingfl.com, and then, of course, put the right tools in place to track, measure, and quantify. And so getting that internet marketing right, what happened was the traffic to his website as of February 2001 was 220 visitors. It generated about 20 inbound calls. Not enough to run a sustainable business, not enough to really do a lot, but something. Now, by the time we get to April of this same year, 2014, he had 1,397 visitors, 319 inbound calls on his tracking line on his, on his website, and that's without running any pay-per-click. That's all organically based, and it's had a huge impact. You can see here on his call tracking line, he had 319 calls in that month. And again, it's just a function of getting the internet marketing right. And if you'd like to discover at a deeper level what the strategy is, right? How did we set up his website? What pages did we create? How did we optimize the title tags and the H1 tags? Where do we get the links? What strategy did we put in place to get online reviews? I explain all of that in a, a video similar to this where I really go into depth on how you can do these same things in your business. So if you'd like that, here on the same page, just enter your name or your email address and we'll get you access to the video or really go deep as far as what we did, how we did it, and how you can implement those same strategies in your plumbing or HVAC business. So enter your information now and I'll see you on the other side.